We move next here tonight to the very latest economic numbers out today that show inflation is accelerating at its highest point since 1981. There's the number out today. It rose 8.4% in March, up a half percentage point from February. And that change has been even worse here in the Bay Area. The Bureau of Labor says that our inflation rate here, 10.2%. Tonight, Rebecca Petit showing us where the changes are coming from and if any relief is on the way. Because prices have kept creeping up, more people are finding themselves in line at the food bank like this one here in Lakeland. People tell me they are trying to cut costs any way they can. Every week, dozens of people drive through the distribution line at Blessings and Hope Food Pantry so they can put food on the table. The lines keep getting longer and longer and longer. Retiree David Arnold tells me his income isn't enough to keep up with the rate of inflation. It's horrible because not only just the gas prices going up, inflation, uh, I get a raise in my Social Security, and what is that good for? Nothing. For Arnold, going to the food bank is one way he can make his money stretch. I'm stocking up if I can. And if I have extras, I give it to my family and neighbors. I do what I got to do. You just can't sit back and let everything happen. You, you got you to gotta be active. You got to be aggressive and you got to do what's right for yourself and your family. America's inflation problem hit a 40 year high. Most of the March increase was driven by a jump in gasoline and food prices, which rose due to the Russia invasion of Ukraine. Gas prices soared 48% over the last year, while food prices rose by nearly 9%. Rental rates have also increased compared to a year ago. If we want to try and address inflation directly, then it's really going to have to come from, I believe, some sort of, of government policy put into place. So maybe some of the safety nets that were put into place, especially in 2020 uh, with rent help. USF economics professor Michael Snipes tells me there's too much uncertainty to determine if relief is on the way. We are seeing some evidence that prices are starting to come back down, but they could just as easily spike back up. You know, Oma, you know, the, the coronavirus is starting to come back. The Federal Reserve will likely move forward with its plan to continue raising interest rates to counter inflation. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.